Hey, I'm William. Today, we're going to test the safety thermostat on an electric GE dryer that doesn't heat. The safety thermostat is what it sounds like, a device that monitors the air temperature inside the dryer drum to prevent overheating. Now, before we get started, hit those like and subscribe buttons if you want to join our do-yourself repair community and get notified each time we post a new video guide. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. First, we'll need to get our tools together. Today, we'll need a multimeter and a Phillips screwdriver. And please remember that safety comes first. Always disconnect your dryer by unplugging it or switching the breaker off. Now let's get started. To get into the safety thermostat, we're gonna use our Phillips screwdriver to remove the two screws at the top of the front panel, just behind the door. Now we're gonna lift the top panel up just a bit so we can clear the console legs and pull it forward. We're gonna remove the Phillips screws that are found at each back corner of the front panel. Once we've done that, we can lift the front panel up, rotate it to the side, and disconnect the door switch wires. Then we can set the front panel to the side. With that moved out of the way, we're going to reach under our drum, and we're going to disconnect the belt from the belt pulley. Once that is disconnected, we're going to go ahead and lift up on the belt and use it to assist in pulling the drum forward and out. Now we can set that to the side as well. With that out of the way, we can see the safety thermostat on the top of the element housing on the far left. We're gonna remove one wire and set our multimeter to continuity, which looks like a sideways Wi-Fi symbol. Let's use the meter probes to test the thermostat for continuity. If there's no continuity, then the safety thermostat has failed and will need to be replaced. If there is continuity, our thermostat is good and there's something else preventing the dryer from heating. To put the dryer back together, let's double check to make sure the wires are all attached. When that's all set, we're going to install the drum and belt. This can be a little difficult, so make sure to get the belt firmly on the motor pulley. Then grab the front panel. We're going to connect the door switch wires and then set the front panel onto the dryer. We need to secure it with the screws we removed earlier. Now we're going to slide the top panel on the console legs, rotate the top panel down, and then secure it with the long Phillips screws we removed from behind the door. Don't forget to plug the dryer back in or flip the circuit breaker back on. If your safety thermostat is good, check out our other troubleshooting guides that can help you pinpoint the reason why your dryer isn't heating. If your safety thermostat is bad, just head over to AppliancePartsPros.com to order a replacement so you can repair the dryer yourself. And don't forget to share your experience with us in the comments. If this video is helpful, show some love by clicking the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching and we look forward to helping you in our next video.